Hi everyone, this is Coach D, and today I'm going to help you with your short passing game and helping your wide receivers get open. Now, maybe you haven't found the quarterback that has the confidence or the arm to throw more than five yards. Or maybe you're constantly switching and you just need to switch it up so that you guys can get some yardage. I'm gonna help you move down the field with short completions and also help your wide receivers get open so that they're not all clustered together saying, I'm open, I'm open when everybody's around them. Just doesn't make sense. So what I've done is I've set up a nice curl route. The blue cone here is my line of scrimmage for my wide receiver. My other blue cone right here is about three to five yards out and then the red cone is the curl. A curl route just simply looks like this. You go three to five yards and then you curl around, look at the quarterback, short completion, okay? Now, if they are covered, so they run five yards, curl around, boom. They're sitting there, they sit down, boom. They're covered. What I want them to do is I want them to cut in and then sprint to the green cone. Cut in sprint to the green cone. What that means is I want anybody who's covered to sprint to the sidelines. If I'm sitting here and I've got a defender around me, obviously I'm not wide open. So what I need to do is get open. The only way to do that is create some space. So I juke one way, like I'm gonna go this way, and then I run to the sideline, green. If I'm still covered here on the sideline at the green cone, then what I'm gonna do, not going deep, which is what they usually try to do, uh-uh. I'm gonna run straight across the field, right in front of the quarterback to my orange cone. Again, I'm only three to five yards away, but I stay at that same distance so I can get a nice short completion. Let me show you how it works, and then I'll give you some principles. Ready, go. Boom, that's my curl. I'm ready. I'm looking at the quarterback. I'm ready, I've sat down. I'm ready for that ball. If I'm covered, then I make a quick move and I go out here, boom. Okay, usually I go to the sideline as far as I can so that, boom, I'm open. If I'm still covered, I'm gonna run across to my orange. Now the reason I'm running across it's almost like a quick slant. The quarterback can just dump it off to me right here and I could run, hit that sideline and I'm gone. In order to score a touchdown or get a first down, you don't have to throw the long bomb every single time, especially if you have a quarterback who, who can't get there. So quick principle on either side of the field. If I'm covered, I'm gonna run to the sideline. Now I'm not just gonna go, uh -uh. I have to make quick cuts to get to that sideline. So let me show you one more time. Nice curl move. Right here, three to five yards. That's it. So I want you to set that up, break into teams, into groups, and have your quarterback practice throwing to those short short routes and making some quick decisions because usually they only have about five to seven seconds before they have to get rid of the ball so let them work together a quarterback and a wide receiver the wide receivers making those nice moves and the quarterbacks making a quick decision one way or the other and let them know in order to succeed you don't have to long bomb it every single time move down the field with short completions. Guys, hey, get some this season. If you like what you see, this is Coach D, so make sure you subscribe, like, comment, and share. And we'll see you in the next video. Take care.